Let's now see how we can create that sidechain ducking effect without even using the compressor. So I've removed all the previous sidechain compression settings from before. And now we're back to just the kick and pad. And as you can hear, there's no movement on the pad when the kick hits. So we're going to do this using an effect called the Fruity Peak Controller, which we will place on the kick track. So select the kick track and on the insert effects slot here, let's go ahead and look for the Fruity Peak Controller and load that in. This device is essentially an envelope follower. So it analyzes the incoming signal and creates an envelope shape based on the amplitude of the incoming signal. So let's try it out. We can tweak the resulting envelope shape by these controls over here. Let's get a bit smoother with the shorter decay parameter here. All right, I think that works. Now back on the pad, we now have to apply that shape onto the volume of the pad. So let's go ahead and add another plugin on the pad, specifically the Fruity Balance. This has this very convenient volume control. I'm gonna right click it and select link to controller. In this internal controller drop down section over here, we will now find that peak control peak. So let's select that and hit accept. Now check out what happens. So that's a pretty cool effect, but it's kind of the opposite of what we're going for. We want the volume to duck down instead of increase when that kick hits. So let's go again, right click on the volume dial and select link to controller here. Now we have mapping formulas that we can work with. Right now it's this default one is to one mapping. But if I click here, I can choose inverted. Now if I hit accept, listen to this now. And that's what we want. It seems a bit extreme, so we can go back into the kick track and on the Fruity P controller, adjust the volume and bass. Let's put this on the side and try it out. Let's hear this in context. <clears throat> so you get a slightly different result with this. And you definitely have to go in and tweak the range. Going back onto the kick track and the Fruity P controller. There's a lot of controls over here that you can use to tweak the range and how this P controlling is going to happen. All right, so that's creating that ducking effect using the Fruity Peak Controller.